Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bard's Tale. Last time I uh, I think I bought everything from the trader in uh, Houghton. And off camera I did a lot of farming. I mean look at this. Look how much silver I have. Because uh, well in this episode or at least the beginning I'm gonna try to find that uh, little trowel that uh, wanders around in the in the map, in the world map or however you want to say it because he has I think four maps that you can buy from him but uh, before that I want to show you this okay so after buying everything from the shop in Houghton... I'm sorry, you've obviously wandered into what you believe to be the local tavern. That is down the street. What have you got in the way of shields and armour? You want armour? You do realise that we don't sell on credit here? This is the only thing left in this shop. Let me see something else. See you, old man. There's a shop in Houghton that you might be able to afford. Yeah, I already bought that shop out. So yeah, I'm not gonna get that right now. Uh, let's visit the pub. Shut up. Let's visit the pub and see if uh, we can buy something to improve our charisma. To lower the price of those map maps. Okay, so what do we have here? I think this is the girl that came and talked to us at the beginning. There's another guy that's gonna be important later. And here we have a priest. So that's it. Actually, I don't think this is the girl that talked to us at the beginning. I just remember something. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what? Okay, something funny that I think you can do in the taverns that actually was at the beginning of the game if you didn't uh, catch on. No fear, lass. A simple rat is no match for me. Oh, thank you kindly, sir. Here's a little reward from me in the tavern. So, yeah, you can do this, I think, in every tavern. Okay, crazy much. So I'm sticking with the heroine and the witch for uh, range and healing. So what will it be? Okay, rhythm, strength. I'm not gonna try this one. And nothing. See you, old man. Come again. So if I don't find that. Uh, little trowel I might go to Houghton and buy the drink there that increases our charisma alright let's see what we see on the map Come on. Where are you, little trow? Okay, I don't see him. So, let's enter Houghton. You know, 
You keep coming round here, and pretty soon I'll let you stay. Permanent. Now be off with you. So, Houghton, we did everything. We have nothing here left. At least uh, that's uh, what I remember. Let's check our quest. So, yeah. Cove in Kirkwall. We have the barrel still. And Finstown. Yeah, this is a kind of a little cheat if you want to do Finstown in the beginning. But I don't recommend it doing it uh, before Kirkwall. And I think that's how I'm gonna do it as well. After Kirkwall, I'm gonna go to Finstown, probably. Okay, I'm gonna get the drink and I'll see you guys if I manage to find that little trowel. Welcome back. What can I get? How about one of these? You have a fine eye. Nice. Ah, I needed that. I hope you enjoyed that. You know, you keep... Okay, there's a little throw. Let's catch him. Come on. Oh, he runs away from you. That's a nice find. And now we have to catch him. You've caught me. I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'll sell you some of my treasures. Secrets. Special things gathered from around the world I have. All for a discounted price, of course. Oh yeah. He has four maps it's uh, best to buy this at the beginning so you don't uh, have any trouble later on finding him and you'll have trouble later so let's start with the first map right the old map hmm, i'm intrigued this is a very rare and special item i'll be willing to part with it but only because of the special bond we share okay bye I'll take it. Very well. And that's it. You only get one item. We have to find him again, so I'm probably gonna jump to every time I buy a map. So see you then. You've caught me. I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'll sell you some of my treasures. Secrets. Special things gathered from around the world I have. All for a discounted price, of course. Okay, map number two. Hmm, this looks interesting. Ah, you've an interest in this, have you? Well, I could be persuaded to part with it for a wee bit of coin. I'll take it. A very wise choice. Oh, you're a fast one. <laughs> well, now that you've caught me, welcome to my shop. And map number three. Let me have a closer look. Sorry, this isn't for sale. What? You must have it, you say? Well, if you must, then I suppose I could part with it. But I warn you, it'll not go cheap. I'll take it. It's a smart man you are to be buying that. Oh, you're a fast one. <laughs> well, now that you've caught me, welcome to my shop. And the last map. Can you tell me about this? Ah, you've an interest in this, have you? Well, I could be persuaded to part with it for a wee bit of coin. And we'll have some change to spare. I'll take it. Very well. Okay, now let me show you what uh, what's on the map now. After you buy all of those maps. I'm saying map a lot, aren't I? 
Okay, so now let's try to catch him again and see what happens. Hello. Why do you keep chasing me? I don't have anything else. Here, take my money and be done with it. So you basically rob him now. I don't know if that's uh, something that will go on forever, but I think it's a little bit funny. Okay. So this is the hunting area, hunting grounds. We have Houghton, Finstown. Uh, this is the Neversdale, and now we have two dungeons here. And I think the others are somewhere around here, not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna visit these dungeons later in the game, not now, because I'm not equipped for them. I need to find a special summons. But in the meantime, let's save. Okay, so now... Oh, look at this guy in slow-mo. I think we needed... Uh, what, what's it called? The Light Fairy. Lost in the dark. Poor Connor. He yeah. And we had to go through this. Okay, let's see what's in here. Some more barrels. If we ever make it back to the barrel maker. Good or what? And this here were the four barrels that the Bove party told us about. So let's put these away. And go. After stumbling around in the dark, and with the help of his newfound companion, our hero found the secret passage to the top of the bluff. Okay, and here's the bow we have to talk to. Let's see what he has to say. I've been expecting you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... I must say, your future will become very bleak if you say Bove right now. As you wish. Far be it from me to shorten my own future. Just tell me, are you the one I seek? And I emphasize the word, the... I am he whom you seek. For safety's sake, you may call me... Well, whatever you'd like, actually. Then I'll call you Homely. But that's an apt description. As you wish. I'll even dance if it keeps that sword out of my belly. I've seen enough song and dance for one day. So, only, why have I been summoned to this armpit of a town? You've not been summoned, my friend. You have been chosen. Quite an honour, I might add. For only the strongest and most courageous in all the land would have been chosen by the beautiful Princess Calais. Okay, so this Bov, if you haven't noticed yet, there's something different about him. He still has all of his uh, appendages. Is that the right word? Well, arms and legs. So if you want uh, a little bit of a fun interaction with him, be snarky. If you tell me that I've been chosen again, I'll run you through. Now, without using the C word, explain what the hell you're on about um uh, uh yes well uh, uh as i was saying you were 
asked to come here by the fair Princess Calais. The good Lord bless her. Ah, oh, why does this always happen to me? Oh, go ahead and spit it out, for God's sake. Our fair princess is being held captive atop an ancient tower. Dark forces keep her locked away in a mystical prison. Only she... Yeah, yeah, and only she can defeat the evil. Please, oh please, could you risk your neck to save her, blah, blah, etc, etc, etc. I've heard it all before. Is that all you've got? Aye, that is... Well, you pretty much covered it. Yeah, I think you've wasted enough of both of our time. Why don't you go and recruit some idealistic young orphan to do it? They're pretty gullible. Wait, did I mention that she's as rich as she is beautiful? Rich? How rich are we talking? The barest portion of her wealth could buy Dunby a hundred times over. Not bad. And uh, you said she's beautiful as well. The fairest in all the land. Prove it. Um, uh, uh, prove it? Yeah, prove it. If she's rich, then hand over some coin on her behalf. And if she's so bloody beautiful, then show her to me. If you can do neither of these things, then I'll be on my way. Wait! I can show you the princess. Give you a chance to see her. As for payment, is this sufficient? That should do, for now. I warn you, though, if you're playing me false... I'll take it out of your hide. Uh, 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 no need for that. Follow me. The princess will convince you. I'm sure of it. With visions of coin, cleavage, and carnage jiggling in his head, the bard and his newfound friend head off to be in the presence of the mysterious Princess Calais. Here we are, my friend. I see no tower here. I thought you were taking me to see this princess. Aye, and you shall speak with her. Uh, just uh, not in the flesh. But eventually I do see flesh, right? In due time, my impatient friend. In due time. Oh man, this game is a masterpiece. Uh, can I go through here? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Before we enter there, let's uh, explore this place a little bit. Because I think there's some uh, things we can get and something to interact with. Okay, so let's kill some birds. And over here we have wolves. And they're the big kind. Hey. Don't call for your friends. Okay, the bow is the best weapon. Other wolves, go away. You're a little soft, aren't you? Come on. Okay, another entrance here into Kirkwall.
What is the boy? What'd you find? Good dog. All right. I think it's around here somewhere. The thing I'm looking for. We have some wolves around here. Good. Come on. Okay, anything here? No. And as you can see, we get a little prompt here. But first, let's uh, kill all those wolves. Come on, big boy. Good boy. Come on, you growled. You're a dog after me, own art. Okay, there's something red over there. But what we want is over here. So, uh, yeah, enjoy what happens next. If you were another of those chosen ones, looks like the only thing you'd have been chosen for is lunch. I'm guessing you don't mind if I borrow this armor. Though it doesn't seem to do much good against wolves. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. A chosen one of many, is it true? When you think you're full of luck, you look forward to your truck. Oh, it's bad. Chosen one really sounds like loads of fun, but in the end you'll just be someone's lunch. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. The prophecy is never coming true. In the pickle you'll be stuck like a chicken. You will cluck. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. Your morning for this boy was very brief. You certainly did not show any grief. You feel like she is good I ever, but to you it didn't matter. You're, You're nothing, nothing but, but a two-bit common thief. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. Don't think for just a second is not true. When your life is run amok, you will see that you're the schmuck. Oh, it's bad luck to be, really bad luck to be. Nobody could disagree, it's a freaking guarantee. It's bad luck to be you, with a lead to. So yeah, now we have a better armor. Look at that, we look a little bit nicer. But I think the one in the shop, in, in Kirkwall, is a little bit better. Uh, what was it? This? 3-5? Yeah, I think the one in the shop is 4-5. I might get it. Okay, let's uh, see if that interaction happens. Because I don't remember.
Get off my land, you filthy vagrant. You're not welcome here. No need for the crossbow, old man. I'm just passing through. Did Connor send you? If so, you tell him that I'll get him his money and the wedding is still off. My daughter doesn't want anything to do with him. You go back and tell him that. I don't know any Connor. Now, why don't you just put down the crossbow and we can talk like civilised people? Get off my land now, you wretched dog. Oi, watch out, old man. You might hit me. Get off my land. You think you can hit me, laddie? The old farmer was surprisingly spry for someone of his advanced years. Or was it just that the bard was a horrible shot? Okay, so we're gonna have some dealings with that old man in the near future. For now, let's uh, go see what uh, Calais looks like. Oh, these guys again. You remember my brothers? Yes, but I'm so bad with names. Both! Now I remember. Can we get on with this? If I don't see this princess soon, believe me, Boves will roll. As you wish. As I mentioned to you before, Princess Calais is in an impenetrable tower. I don't remember you mentioning the word impenetrable. I didn't? Well, that's because it's only impenetrable to the likes of us. A strapping fella such as yourself should have no problem. Nice try. Go on. The only way we can communicate with our beloved princess is by summoning an image of her. We have this ritual Enough that... words. Let's see some action, some action. Very well. Are we ready, my friends? If this were a stage, I'd boo you off. Now, Bove. The bell! Bove, now, or we'll lose her! Ring it! Now! Ding! Was that her? <laughs> she looked familiar. Where's the bell? Was that Princess Calico? Calais. Bove. The bell. I don't exactly have it. <laughs> she's the one who appears when I use this pendant. Who does exactly have it? Farmer Finn. So she's the princess. And she's rich, you say? Ugh. Gambling again? I'm sorry. I'm weak when it comes to temptation. Join the club. Who needs the stinking bell? Can't I just go and rescue her? I could leave right now. Do you have a fast horse? I'm afraid a rescue is impossible without information which only the princess can provide. Well, I can summon her right now. She comes when I use this pendant. Hey, let me see that. Hmm, it is as I thought. Where did you get this? From the guy that sent me to you. This pendant contains a portion of her magical essence. A little bit of her spirit, if you will. It'll invoke her power but does not allow for communication. All right, so point me in the direction of this farmer. If I can't buy it back, I can find a way to con it out of him. I obviously can't trust Bove to go get it, but you must hurry. Time is an issue. Get that bell and bring it back here as soon as you can. Then I can go get the princess, right? No more run around? Aye, and she'll repay you many times over. And in many ways, I hope. I'll be back before you know it. Our smitten bard was on his way to see the farmer, with luck at his side and images in his head of the princess doing things I dare not mention. Okay guys, so, like I said, now we're gonna have to go back to that farmer. But we're gonna do that in the next episode, because I'm out of time. So, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy what I do, maybe share the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice day.